Oh, come all ye tramps and hawker lads, ye gatherers of blood, that tramps the country round and round, come lesson in and out. I'll tell to you a rowan tale, oh, sex that I hae seen. It's far unto the snowy north and south by great Nagree. Of times I've laughed unto my sail while trudging on the road. My toe rags round my blistered feet, my face as brown as a toad's. Well, long so cake and tatty scones, and whangs so of braxy ham. Nagin a thought to far of thee, and less to far am gone. I've done my share o' humpin' with the dockers on the climb. I've helped we bucky drawers all their care and over the side. I helped to build yon mighty bridge that spans the busy port. And we money and anger spare my trig. I flowed the bonny air. Oh, it's different now, of course. There wasn't so many in the the, the yachts and what have you now, the pleasure ships, there was none of that, it was all just the old yules uh, as we called them, yules. They would go out maybe three o'clock in the morning and say, well, it was maybe away at three o'clock, depending on the tide, you see. As I say, they, they could make money and you could lose a bit. You understand what I mean by that? I mean, the, so that it wasn't behaving itself and that. Yeah, you just had to make the best of things. You maybe didn't have much money, but it would go further and put your pounds going further the day. If you had a pound, you thought, well, you wish something. The diamond is a ship, my lads, to the diva's stretches bound. And the key it was all garnished with bonny lasses round. Captain Thompson gave the orders to sail the ocean wide. Where the sun it never sets, my lad, nor darkness dim the sky. And it cheer up, my lad, let your hairs never fail. For the bonny ship, the diamond gold, a fishing for the whale. Along the quay at Dalston High, by the lassie stand a rune, with a shawl's all pulled about them and their salty run and doon. Then I weep my bonny lassie, though you be left behind, for the rose will grow in Greenland's eyes before I change my mind. And the cheer of me, lad, let your hairs never fail. For the bonny ship, the diamond gold, a fishing for the whale. Hey, 
Here's a health to the rascal, you giant, likewise, the allies are swain. Here's a health to the butler, Roman throat, and a diamond chip of fame. We wear the jacket, so the white and the trues are so the blue. Then I return to Alston Highball, hey, sweet hips and you. And this cheer of me, lad, let your hairs never fail. For the body ship, the diamond go, the fashion for the whale. It will be breakfast day and next when the Greenland lads come tame With a ship say full of oil, my lads and money to their name Well, my junk cradles for the rock and the blankets for the tear And all the queens and all stand high, sing high, shall buy my dear And this cheer of the lads, let your hairs never fail For the body ship, the diamond go, the fashion for the whale I look at Doona for the scene and heave the muckle sigh to see the hair of a lion team I thought in the days gone by when the hair of it was full craft hearn boats by the score cargo boats our load were coal and the farlands along the shore the hearn boats would our command some were muckle shorts some were just a crown or two whatever was their lot a simple would be brought ashore, the shelling then began, and the curer heads began to nod, then fell upon the crown. But ah, the days are past and gain, the fishermen's are war, the boaters are out of sex, there's nothing left of all, but parting barks and pleasure yachts that sail about for fun, and hibernate our winter, and reappear with the sun. In misfortunes in our twa that scarcely worth the mention. But I'll tell you in the pits of the ma if you'll give me attention. One day I come up a loki with two or three mares to hear a spree. We wandered up and stayed on deeper and met with a neighbor donion. Come on, young lads, for here you be, for here you gang upon a spree. I bid you take advice to me and beware of a neighbor donion. It was wandering up the near gargate and met with this handsome charmer. She's asked me for to give her a drink or something hot to warn her. So we went to a house of refreshment and there sat down we a consent. And seen ten shillings I had spent in treating my Abertonian. Come on, young lads, for here you be, and here you gang upon a spree. I bid you take advice to me and beware of an Abertonian. She spent some stuff and tea, my drink that sent me heed a reeling. My knees felt weak, me in the blink, and I lost a sense of feeling. And fun I did come run again, I'd lost my purse and my watch and chain. I'm sure I'll never see them again, for less my Aberdonian. Come on, young lads, for here you be, and here you gang upon a spree. I bid you take advice to me, and beware of an Aberdonian. She's seen my baseball moral cap, likewise my monkey jacket. He you ever seen sick and unlucky chap, see off his shy and wicked. The trick she played me drove me mad, and if ever again I meet the jad, I'll surely land her and the quad that beat the Sabardonian. Come on, young lads, for here you be, and here you gang upon a spree. I bid you take advice for me, and beware of an Sabardonian. She's taught a lesson on to me for all the days I'm living. And never again will I mark the free be a lassie say deceiving. And if ever I settle down in life and think to talk the sail away, I'd rather fall upon a night than marry a neighbor donion. Come on, young lads, for here you be, and here you gang upon a spree. I bid you talk advice for me and beware of a neighbor donion.
Marshall College, with all its frescoes and carvings, has been called a piece of birthday cake. But it's a great, a great heritage for Aberdeen, a great architectural heritage. I came to Marshall College in 1919. The men who returned from the army, the survivors of the slaughter of the 1418 war, men very glad to have survived. We had these men and the professoriate respected them, who were spoiled rather as a year. There was no question of treating us as small boys up from country schools. through the Bashra competition. I tried the Bashra competition. I got a town council Crombie Bashra for four years. That was worth in those days about, oh, what was it worth again? 15 pounds per time, 60 pounds. But that went a long way in uh, those days, you see. Could have paid for your digs. I think the digs were about 15 bob. Of course, I went home weekends. <laughs> we had uh, parties at the professor's houses. Uh, prof Suter, that's a classical ma, uh, classical prof. Oh, they, they were very, very nice. Uh, he took a great interest in the students. And the principal was a very uh, nice man too. He actually recognized you in the street, which is rather <laughs> unusual. He would, <laughs> uh, you know, actually talk a little with you. I was a student at King's. My folks had a craft at Glenardo. Learning's the thing they would say to help you up in the wardle. They've rocked from morning to dark. Find if I mine and my mither, out o'er the quits o' more dobs, firth in the wheatiest wither. Swiping the greep and the bayer, forking the crop and the land, Treatling with water and ace and peats, I a pail in her hand. I was a student at King's, where the craft I never spoke. Peer and prude was I, and I fronted o' my folk. And files and a still my necht, I would take a dana rune by spetal and college bounds to the life of the all tune. And I would stand and glower in at the windows wide, or the muckle hooses there for the professor's bed, at carnelicht and flowers, shining silver and lace, and bra in a low naked goon, the professor's wife at her place. Fine, says I to myself, fine to be up in the wardle. And I thought we had grew on the brookie pots at the kitchen at Glenardle. Learning's the thing, says I, to help you up in the wardle. A wedder professor come time and went hain a wafi Glenardle. A bide in a muckle dark hoose, in a tune that's muckle and dark, and it takes me most of the day to get fordled with my work. Trachlan we set and stew, queuing for mate for oars. A body has little time or hurt for cannelicht and flowers. My hands are scory horned 
and files. I find myself scooshling my feet as my mother did, oot team in the aura pale. The folks are lying quiet now, in the kirkyard at Glenardle. It's his wheel. There'd be guys sair made at the state nowadays with the wardle. Learning's the thing they would say to gie ye a heist up in life. I was in a student at King's. No, I'm just a professor's wife. remember when we went to the Sunday school picnic, boys went into the carts and we went into the lorries. Horses, you know, were driving them, and horses all decorated too. When we landed, we all squatted in the grass round about, and then we got a, a mug of milk and a brady for our lunch. After that, we started games, and then there were prizes given for that, uh, running races. I can remember terribly anxious to get a ball. It was a lovely painted ball. And those two of us came in together, and one said it was this other girl, and one said it was me. So they decided to make us race again. So fortunately, I came in first. <laughs> oh, I was dying to get that ball.
come, ah, ye jolly plumin' lads that work among the grun, and listen to my story if you went to hae some fun. Um, they say young's a ain's hae been, some say I've heen my fling, but I just feel like a five-year-old and I begin to sing. Oh, lultifaloodle, I do toodle I'll call your horse, I'll sort your note, I'll beg a rock astray. I'm as happy as a lark for dawn to dark, singing o' the day. Oh, lultifaloodle, I do toodle no a tailin fein market, just listen fit I say. A money spear gin I could work a pair at ten hours day. Or gin I could fall mock wi a man, he fairly gart me gip. Says I, old man, for I come fe we fall mock wi a grip. Oh, lalt of a loodle, I do toodle oodle eh. I'll call your horse, I'll sort your note, I'll beg a rock astray. I'm as happy as a lark fe dawn to dark, singing o' the day. Oh, lalt of a loodle, I do toodle oodle eh. No, I bought it for a sax month at a place they could be cairn. Fen I get him the bothy lads, they took me for a bairn. We horny hands, they eat bell spuds, the bothy fleer they happet. We my sharny beats, I trumpet the spuds, and said I like my chappet. Oh, lultifaloodle, I do toodle-oodle, eh. I'll call your horse, I'll sort your note, I'll beg a rock astray. I'm as happy as a lark fe dawn to dark, Singing o' the day, oh, lultifaloodle, I do toodle-oodle, eh. No, the nicht I married Mary Ann, I got most half a foo. Fin a minister started to tie the knot, there was a howdy-do. He says, what is your name, my man, and have you got the ring? You should have seen the money's face when I began to sing. Oh, lultifaloodle, I do toodle-oodle, eh. I'll call your horse, I'll sort your note, I'll beg a rock astray. I'm as happy as a lark fe dawn to dark, singing o' the day. Oh, lultifaloodle, I do Toodle-oodle-ay.
was na his wight he was bed at so late, and him we some muckle to dee. He'd the rabbits to feed, and the falpy to came, and the hens to hesh out of the ree. The masons mere sign he set up in the close, and cowpit the ladle foo keen, then ruined the rock foons with the lave of the loons, played tacky by lecht of the mean. Sign he repit his pooches and coonted his bulls, the re chicket pitcher and ah. Tin the yearlings fowr eggs for his bonnet, and fags fin gorbalt its fikey to blah. But first come his mother and cried in a men, though sadly prigged to wait. There'll be no word of this in the morning, my lad. But it was na his wait he was late. Oh, hi, and oh, hum, he was raxing him sail and rubbing his een for the rays. In far was his bonnet, in far was his beets, in far had been touching his clays. Oh, his porridge was cal, they'd forgotten the sort. There was our muckle meal on the top. Was this all the buttermilk? Far was his spine, and far had been biting his bap. His pints was the tide, and the backs of his logs not some smart attention as wheel. But it was near as gin it was Sabbath, ye can, and anything dis for the squeal. We his piece in his poochy got roded at last, we his books in his scaly and sclate. Gin the wag at the wa in the kitchy was sla, weel, twas na his wight he was late. The fight fuskered cart we her tail on the air, convoyed him as far as the barn. Sign munch in his piece he set off by his lean, though ne very well a nice one. The kirt road was dubby, the track through the wood, although maybe longer was best. But when lopin the dyke, a steen chacker flew out, and he hunted a fowl for our nest. Sen he clawed it wee yowies a squirrel he saw, teetin roon for the back o' a tree, and jinket the gamey o' team in his gardens, a ragey old billy was he. Ah, this was a hinner, up the moss side. He ran new it, sick and a rate, that he fell o' the hither and bark at his shins. But it was na his wight he was late. Astride in a wind cast and larrack he sat, and picket for Rosette to char, till a patrick sair frechend ran trail in a wing for her cheapers to trust him awa. He cried in the drester when passing the mull, but I want to his pipe and a news, and his oxter pooch managed with shallons to fell. A treat it to him till his dues. So he waited the lead and crap under the brig to hear the gigs thunder a bean, and a rotten plump ten and gid swim in a wa afore he could gather a steen. He hovered to hurry a foggy bee's bike, ne far fi the mole catcher's gate. And the squeal it was in, or he'd counted his stangs, but it was na his wight he was late. He tried in his taste to creep bent till a seat, but the snuffy old domine saw, snake it there in his dusk like a wyver that waits for a flea in his wob in the wa. He tell to his tummel, but fit was the ease, with the manny and sick and altine, and fit was a wop wi a spiny or tag to hands that were hard as a steen. Now, gin he had gratten, it's brawly he kind, for crusa the lassies would cra, for the morning afore he had scattered their lames and dung doon their hoosies a na. We a gully to hooey, though soon he got ower, the why he'd been huddled by fate. It was coarse still anon to be walloped like thone, for it was na his wight he was late. My earliest memories of Binny He was coming as a boy on a picnic, climbing up onto the great plateau at the top, where you could gather everins, a sort of wild strawberry, and the blueberries and the cranberries, because loons were eye hungry. The attraction of Benny He to so many people round about and to so many Scots away 
and lands beyond the sea, like Canada and Australia and so on, is the fact that it is the centre of Benihi. It is seen from all over the countryside. And the focal point is the Mither Tap. To hear the wild bird song, to wander barks and braes among its friends and favourites, left so long at the back of Benahi. Oh, money a day and blessed in time, money a day in summer's prime. I've wandered wild a the time at the back of Benahi. Oh, Gina, where, where God he runs, where God he runs, where God he runs, oh, Gina, where, where God he runs. At the back of Benahi Oh, there were Jean on Elk and Nest When bears were hearts were young and flesh We wandered when the moon was bright At the back of Benahi Oh, fortune's fools with thorns are rough And wealth is one with toil and strife A dig in me, oh, youthful life At the back of Benahi Oh, Gina, well, where God is well, God, he runs, well, God, he runs, oh, then I have well, well, God, he runs, at the back of Ben I Though few to welcome me remain, though I love thee, deed and gain, I'll back, though I should bide the lane at the front of Ben I Oh, Gina, where, where God he runs, where God he runs, where God he runs, oh, Gina, where, where God he runs, at the back of the night.
The tatty picking at our farm was a big day. It was a big day, it was usually a Saturday. There was no tatty holidays in those days. The, the, my father was a bit of a philanthropist and he allowed the cottagers from the village to grow a drill of potatoes at his farm. They came up in the spring and planted the potatoes and then they came up and gathered the potatoes in the autumn. Usually on a Saturday when there could be plenty of boys and girls to pick. And the wives came up from the village and it was a very fine, cheery day if it was a dry day. If it was a wet day and the tatties were all muddy and that, your fingers froze and it was dreadful. But on a fine day, the tatty picking could really be a delight. I remember the last tatty picking I was at, at our farm, was when my father was 80, year 1943. And my daughter of 12 was with us. And we three, my father of 80, myself, and, and uh, my daughter, took a bit of the drill equal to what two goat pickers would take. You, the, 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 at the tatty picking at that time, there was no digger for throwing out the potatoes. There was what was called a drill plow, which was taken by the two horses right through the center of the drill, throwing the potatoes outside like that and pressing the earth down on them. And it was a tremendous difficulty getting the potatoes out amongst the earth. Not easy like what they are today, where they're left in just lovely condition, just lying on the top of the ground, and all that is to be picked up. But it was a cheery time. My mother always had a tremendous big pot that she put on to the peat fire with soup, she'd got a bit of beef for somebody, or perhaps a hen had died and would uh, could, could make soup. And uh, that was, uh, they all sat around in the kitchen, all the old wives and the young wives and, and the children, and it was just a social occasion. It wasn't the automatic picking of potatoes just now, where the, the wives and the boys come and they have to take their own peace with them. There's no feeding of them. It was a social occasion, the daddy picking.
nothing. I was only ten year old. I left the parish school. My father he paid me to the mains to choice milk and meal. I first put on my rear bricks to hop my spinel drums, sign buckle, throw my knap and knees a pair of naggy it's first to get on for Bailey Loon, and sign to get on for third, and sign of course I hit to get the horseman's ribbon word. I'll off a breed to be my piece of bottle for drinking drums, but you can't again through the carpus door without your naggy tongues. I'm Kurt and Bonnie Annie Noor, I've done since sketchy team. She is five and forty and I'm but seventeen. She clorts a muck of me to me with different kinds of jams and she tells me I'll connect that she admires my naggy dance. I started out this Sunday, the kerky for the young. My collar, it was unkitect, my bricks were lean no long. I hid my Bible in my pooch, likewise my book of Psalms. Finn, on a road, you buckle, get to cough your naggy tongue. Though one could swear I took them off the lassie for the please. But I, my bricks, they lurk it up, I run about my knees. I was good crawling up my leg in the middle of the psalms. Oh, I'm never again lugging to the kirk without my naggy tongue. I've often thought I'd like to be a bobby on the force. Or maybe I'll get on the cars to drive a pair of horse. But ever it is my luck to be the bobbies or the trams, I'll never forget the happy days I wore my naggy tongue. How winter was howling o'er moorland and mountain, and wild was the surge of a dark rolling sea. When just about daybreak I met a young lassie who asked me the road and the miles to Dundee. Said I, bonny lassie, I can a will tell you the road and the distance I dinna will ken. But if you'll permit me to gang a wee betty, I'll show you the road and the miles to Dundee. At once she consented and gave me her errand. Never did I spear for the lassie may be. She appeared like an angel in feature and form. As she walked by my side, on the road to Dundee. At length, we the house struck Martin behind us, and the spires of the tune in full view we could see. She said, gentle sir, I can never forget you. For showing me so far on the road to Dundee. This ring and this purse take to prove that I'm grateful. And some simple token I trust you'll give me. And in days to come, I'll the laddie remember Who showed me so far On the road to Dundee I took the goat pen From the scarf at my bosom And said, tuck you this In remembrance of me then bravely I kissed the sweet lips of the lassie 
Here I felt that we had on the road to Dundee. 